you can ask me your question or share with me your thoughts and then I can answer it and everybody else can hear it if if you're cool with that. Oh yeah, I, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool uh -huh. with that. Yeah, hi. Hi. Um, um nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Have we met before? No, never, but I, I've been following you and seeing your work. I've seen you with longer hair. <laughs> right, right. And yeah. uh, yes, I was, me, I'm from a native tribe in Canada, in New First Nations of Quebec, Canada. And I, I thought, you know, like, it's like the, the concept of uh, the tree and the forest. I always felt like I was like a tree, but I was also at the same time, I was uh, conscious of the forest, like having to con to uh, having to um, to to um, to how do you say that? I, I wrote that, but it's like <laughs> I have a difficulty i need to read it um yeah i was creating my own identity while conforming to my inu native tribe but i had the intuition that my happiness was also depending upon others too if my peers had no lunch at kindergarten i had to share mine with the one less lucky then i felt happier this way only and I was wondering, uh, how do you explain um, our uniqueness if there is no me? Yeah. Okay, that's a very good question. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks for bringing it up. Well, in, in one way explaining it is we're all different expressions of the absolute. We are, it's like God, I'm just using this word God, consciousness, the spirit, the big kahuna, uh, mother nature, whatever name you want to give it to it, it doesn't matter. So let's go beyond that. But existence expresses itself, totality, life, manifestation creates, the creator is creating. And when it's creating, it's creating different, these unique expressions of itself, of the absolute. So in the expression, we're all very unique. There's only one, Dan Danielle, am I pronouncing your name correctly, Danielle? Yes, of course. Okay. There is only one Danielle in this world. And there's only been one ever, and they would never be another one identical to you. Danielle happens once. It's an expression happens once in the entire vastness of eternity. One time, this expression happens. There may be another one looking like you or close to you or similar or very, very like you. Maybe happened two, 300 years ago, but this one only happens one time. So it's very unique. It's very special. Everyone is very unique and very special. But all these expressions, all these people who are born and die, they're all different aspects and expressions of the same one, of the oneness. The oneness expresses itself in unique individuals. But that doesn't mean the, the individual is separated. The expression, the person who's born and living this life, you can see from the back that there is like a cord because it's not visible. And this cord is connected to the source. 
And whatever this dude is going to do and say, it's being connected to the main computer. The only thing is, the problem is, or, or the way it's designed, this life, is this guy, for most of his life, is not supposed to know that he is an expression of the one. Most of his life is supposed to think and feel and sense that he's separated. That's the part of the plan. It's, this is God's will that has created this sense of separation. And to create that sense of separation, they give us an ego. We come with an ego and the ego is developed around age two because up to age two or two and a half, when the baby's born, it was up to age two, they, don't, they have not picked up an identity. They're still, they're completely enlightened at that age. And that's why they call it the terrible two. Because around that age, the baby is, starts to pick up, their ego kicks in, and then all of a sudden, this is mine. You know, two kids are playing with each other. This is mine. No, they start, mommy, mommy, this is mine. All of a sudden, things become theirs because they start to develop this sense of separation that they're an individual being separated from everything else their ego starts to appear but since we live in the world of duality this is the dual world so one thing cannot exist without the other one You cannot have anything in this world has its opposite existing simultaneously. Nothing can exist without its opposite. It's impossible. So white, black, day, night, man, woman, dark, light, darkness cannot exist without light. And light is meaningless without darkness. They need each other. So if existence, God is going to create the individual with a sense of separation, with an ego, with the sense that I'm separated from everything, then in the meantime, it must create the sage. It must create the enlightened one. It must create the master too. To balance it. Because it cannot be all individuals with a sense of separation without the sage. Because the opposite of it has to be there. Now... Yeah, we have 7 billion people and we're not going to have 7 billion enlightened masters. But there's enough to offset that. That's the way it works. And there's people coming and telling me like, uh, I come across a lot of, uh, especially like this Saturday, I went to this event disclosure fest. And uh, I come across a lot of people who are very much into uh, preservation of the planet Earth and preservation of, of the humanity. And they're really worried about what's going to happen in the future of humanity or the Illuminati, the dark force is right now is very strong and is controlling the world. And, and they created the pandemic and they're going to be killing a lot of people. 